Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Outer Worlds. I am Uncle Guido. Thanks for coming along with me and uh, checking this game out with me. It's a really good game. I'm enjoying it a, uh, I am enjoying it a lot, if I can speak. I feel like I'm starting to come down with a winter cold or a flu or something, so I do apologize about my voice, which becomes a little even more gravelly. Uh, but there you go. Uh, we are, as it says on the box, we are doing a dumb dialogue playthrough. Uh, words are hard, thinking no good, extra dumb dialogue options online. Locked. Um, I hope you've uh, you're pretty much caught up, uh, and if so, then we'll just go ahead and continue. We're gonna go straight into some combat. We're gonna clear this area out, and uh, so here we go. Hmm. Uh huh. Hello, Sid. Yo gasa más planeando do. You causing all the rockets, and people trying to do shit, and you're making noise and causing problems, and you need to stop. That's not cool, okay? Did not just spit that shit at me. Where? It's above me? Where? Oh, it is above me. Hmm. Let's see. Well, this is definitely a disadvantage of using. Uh, melee over ranged. Hmm. Well, let's just blitzkrieg through this and then we'll pick everything up on the way back. How about that? Of course, if it has good level design, and it does seem to, I may not be repeating all this. Apologize. I think uh, episode 12, for some reason, the audio got messed up again. I, after doing so well, I don't know what happened on that one. I do apologize, but I uh, it did bring up something I've been wanting to work on, which is doing a little bit better sound mixing as far as the game and my commentary. So it's kind of brought something up on the radar. I've already wanted to kind of reacquire in the sights, as it were. Do a uh, appreciate your patience with me as I deal with these learning curves. <laughs> Much like with life, there are certainly uh, always challenges and problems and things we can focus on, but I'm just trying to focus on having fun and enjoying the game. So hope you're uh, there with me and uh, having a blast as you do so. Speaking of blast... Oh. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Hmm. We are not supposed to climb in there. Oh! Hello! Goodbye. Oh, another one. Hello. Everyone all right? <laughs> oh, wait a second. So much ammo that we're not using. <laughs> I heard some other tin can piece of crap. Where you at? Oh, wait, I just... Uh, I get so turned around sometimes. Uh, ooh. Wait a second. I'm like a squirrel! <laughs> a shiny thing! <laughs> wait. <laughs> I can take it, can you? Little man. Little non-man. Machine thing. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. No, I need more. If anything, I want to respec so I have two uh, boosts in decks, not just one. So I'm definitely not taking a tank on it. Sorry. Thank you for playing. Stop 
That's the terminal. I have the parts in position on my side. Go ahead and cycle the droplet pumps. And if you don't know what that means, just look for a command that says cycle droplet pumps. Yeah, I'm sure I think I probably could have figured that well actually my character probably wouldn't have figured that out. Never mind, that was a safe that was a safe uh, assumption to ooh. Make that I would need that literally spelled out. I feel like we're missing some things. I left some things down below, but what else? Again, if you want to read, I encourage you to pause the video. Don't want to spend too long on this. Plus, you never know how. The temperatures are dropping how long Stop it takes for people to read. I was always a fast reader. Not great at a lot of things, but reading is certainly one of those few. <laughs> reading quickly. Okay, I think this is the one we just undid. Did we? Oh yeah, that was level one. So it's just three, four, or one, two, and three, sorry. Okay. Making sure we're not missing any, too many things, I should say. Um, good thing I got that 106th Adreno, though, boy. I appreciate you guys sticking with me for that. <laughs> Architect's name, would you say that? It's just that you're real grouchy. Kind of all the time? <laughs> I'm not grouchy. I'm just, just irritated by inane questions. So yeah, grouchy. See, when you say it like that, it makes me wonder. Right? <laughs> that's kind of awesome. Oh, yeah, that's stealing. Okay, stealing bad. I should not steal from friends. Hey, is this us? I think this is going to be us. This is our new story. Well, it should have been. We just fixed the whole freaking ship. That should have been news, more newsworthy than whatever they're blabbing about. All right, whatever. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts. But you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. I think something's eating up over here. Time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Ooh. You're right, I don't. Mm. The board is after two things, bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Now welcome to corporations. You've got my attention. Welcome to corporations there, sister. Alright, boy. Still detecting a lot of heat emanating from some people, shall we say. You aiming to send a message? 
If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Uh... Well, yeah. The comm center routes all messages within, to, and from the Groundbreaker. We also switchboard most of the message traffic throughout the Halcyon system. All right. Of course, we're about to go dead, so I may be reappropriated to Architect Knows Where doing Law Knows What soon enough. <laughs> I love the, the theology of this game. Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. And that's our problem, how? <laughs> We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Sure, I mean they got their own relays and all, but they'll only send along messages the corporations pay for. <laughs> and then they charge folks to send messages back. Often more than they can afford. Mm -hmm. And none of that money goes to the Groundbreaker. Just tightens the board's grip on our throat. That's a very empowering metaphor you choose to cling to. Uh... Not nearly as much. And that money goes to keeping the station operational. Helps keep us independent. If we lose the message fees, the entire ship will feel the pinch. I'm sure the entire Before board long, doesn't feel that way also. The only place for people to trade words and goods <laughs> will be on Terra 2, right under the board's control. That'd spell the end of Groundbreaker. Well, we wouldn't be utterly and completely blacked out, but we'd lose the majority of our comm traffic for sure. Ships and colonies on Terra 2 need a clear line from their communications towers to the Groundbreaker for the transmissions to make it through. If it's not clear, they transmit to the closest relay station which stores the message, then passes it along when our orbits align. Uh, Words. Lots of words. That they can and they do. But only between ships owned by the same corporation. No corporal authorized sending messages through a ship owned by a rival. And no corporal relay messages for the Wildcat freighters. Not without charging them more than they'll make in a single haul anyway. That's why we're the message hub. The Groundbreakers neither corporate owned nor board controlled. Our comms are neutral. You talk a lot. Ow. The others won't be in orbital range during the occlusion event. Isn't it some law of the universe? The it relay hurts. I gotta rely on is, of course, the one on the Fritz. Who's Fritz? Damn it, woman. Making my head hurt. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. Okay. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. Okay. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure Ooh. out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the Relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? Still with the hurting of the head. The relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. Okay. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Ow. Make my head stop, woman. Uh. It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. You talk more than my ex. That not good. Uh, let's see if she has anything else to say. Speak your mind. Honestly, I could use the distraction. Hmm, I think I've already done all those. All right. We want 
to... Uh, let's see... I think... Oh, I leveled up again, didn't I? Yep, I got skills and perks. Um, let's see, so... Okay, with wells, alright, so I still want to buy this thing so that I can get the XP. We need to go there, space crime continuum, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, we can do that. Um, I need to talk to her probably on the ship, and I still need to do... One of the many countless little quality of life boosters is you just have to tap the run. You don't have to hold it down the whole time. Not that that's a huge chore, but, uh, you know, it's the little things in life sometimes. Step lively, Ms. Holcomb. I I'm not winded. Honest. My uh, boot was untied. <laughs> Would hate for you to get left behind, oh. or architect forbid, become lost. You know, Vic, you are a real dick. Vic the dick, that's what I'm going to call you from now on. Uh, oh yeah, we need a tour. Shoot. Alright, let's reset this real quick. Hey, bounty hunter. You're welcome here anytime, so long as you ain't loitering. Oh. Nothing at the moment. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> the outlaw scientist fella, right. The board's had it out for him for ages. If you have an inkling of the where's or what for's of his location, Udon Bedford would surely like to hear it. I'm sure he would. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> uh oh. Uh, this is a bit of a turning point, perhaps. Phineas is my friend! Words mixed up again, Captain? Ah. Uh. No, I mean it. I've been to his secret base and everything. If you're looking for a payday, you'll want to talk to Udo about it. I'm not processing the board's paperwork for them. Not least because they want everything in triplicate. Won't the one message do? No. I have to send it three times. Got it. Glad to hear it. Anything else? Oh, I thought shit was about ready to hit the fan on that one. <laughs> I mean, Parvati for the win. For, for the recovery. Alright, so. Did, uh, I thought that dumb... I thought that was supposed to give me a tour or something. Alright. Hey, bounty hunter. You're welcome here anytime, so long as you ain't loitering. Dang it. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that, but this area's off limits. I told you. You have done a lot for us, Captain. I'll talk to the Commandant about scheduling a thank you tour for you. Maybe check back in a few days. Okay. Oh. Oh! Can I do that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Hey, now. Uh, no call for violence. <laughs> I'll unlock the door. Just try not to do any shady stuff. I'd like to keep my job. Well, if you'd like to keep your head, you'd better make sure that frickin' door's unlocked, you frickin' pipsqueak. Alright. It's about frickin' time! There it is. Just yank the drive, and I'll do the rest. Well, I mean, if we're on the way back here, is there... Of course there's nothing else to do in here.
Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Okay. Well, we finally got into that area, which is good. Um, let's fast travel on back. So you can block. I gotta, I gotta try that in the future. I mean, it makes sense if I have a shield and someone shooting an arrow, but if I've just got a, you know, a, a high-tech scythe and people are shooting blasters at me, I wouldn't have thought I'd be able to do much, but maybe I can. All right, uh, the empty man. So I need to give that to him, talk to her. All right. Uh, oh, well, she's right here. All right, Pavardi. Don't make it so cheesy this time. Speaking of cheesy. Yeah, uh, so joke. this is my hiding spot now. Sorry. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Please don't give Please me thumbs down for that joke. Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? <laughs> a real charmer, my dad would say. <laughs> nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without him giving you the okay first, you know? Of course, that don't stop Felix. <laughs> uh. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dustback casserole. Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called, uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. There's got to be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. You don't want to come across as too thirsty on the first date there, Senorita. I mean, like, we're about one step from baking your engage her engagement ring into a cake. It's like, take it down a few notches there. <laughs> Reminds me of me in my youth. <laughs> Thirstier than a man that had just gotten out of the Sahara. Just not good. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, it's lemony fresh. Huh. Well, it's good to know there's a few extra things up here. Go talk to. Let's see what these guys are talking about. If anything. Nope. Alright. Um, hello there, Vic the Dick. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bitcart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Yeah. Oh, it's nothing. 
I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. The vicar Wasn't didn't have faith? Shot, Say it taint so. do that off camera. Not something you guys are going to miss out much on. I have a nav key to Stellar Bay on Monarch. Well, that is the place we've been trying to get all game long. Um, but before we go, you know, I do want to level up. I'm not going to lie. And we are at 94 Intimidate. And that is full. Okay, good times. So that's good. Um, I am going to continue to up this now that I'm finding more decent two-handed weapons. So we'll do that. Yeah. The perk. Ooh, one more level and then all my uh, allies get their perks. Have I even put perks into Felix? I think I did. Okay. Uh, next perk. Let me see. Let me know in the comments if there's one you, th you guys think I should definitely make sure I get. I don't. Uh, that one maybe. Uh, that wouldn't be horrible. Quality of life. I mean, I already have Intimidate Max. That's all I want. So, uh, I mean, that might be a little useful. That could be a little useful. Uh, hmm. I'm thinking, particularly since I'm all melee and everything. But uh, let me know. Um, I'm totally down for making this an interact, an even more interactive adventure. If you guys have suggestions, I will probably take you up on them because I'm kind of neutral regarding the rest. And that again is why I'm not really taking these flaws. I just I, I'm kind of meh about most of them. I mean. I'm sure they'd be nice. It'd probably be different if I was playing uh, more firearms uh, focused. Actually, that might not be bad. Um, but, eh, just kind of... Or, you know, if I, I guess if I was on, like, supernova difficulty, some of these, you know, I'd want every little bit I could, I suppose. Every little bit I could get. All right, so... Um, okay... Yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah, here we go. Sam, my vacuum tubes require evacuating. Whoa, hello. No, no, not those. The ones in port. Yes, there. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're at it, could you switch my binaries to that? Exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> is clean and since Captain Hawthorne installed my subalternate auxiliary backup processor. Oh my god. <laughs> Robot porn! <laughs> that is actually hilarious. Every Sam unit comes lean, mean, and ready to clean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, customer. Warning! Rafted on claws carry bacteria and have the potential to cause organic death due to massive amounts of blood loss. Service cancellation request processing. <laughs> All SAM units travel fully assembled in a 12 by 12 corrugated steel box. <laughs> Got stubborn stains. Leave them for Sam. <laughs> Did you know Sam units are capable of equipping regulation grade flamethrower nozzles? No, Operate I did not. Your attachment today and get to firing away. How do I get that? 
I mean, wait, Sad where's the... Live to clean and how do I clean get the... To live. How do I get the firing away? That was probably the funniest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay. Would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? <laughs> I don't believe so, Captain. Transmission incoming. <laughs> well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Oh, I've tried. I haven't been able to get through to him at all. Silence from the system's own information broker? Not a good sign. Oh, could be any number of reasons. Incarceration, <laughs> a period of copious drinking, a severe case of the sleeping sickness. Better to be sure than to resort to conjecture. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Huh. Oh, nice. 33,000? Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. We can't just do this right here, right now? For the love of God. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. For some reason, the information broker is reminding me of the shadow broker from Mass Effect. To, like some of the best DLC I think I've ever played with the exception of The Witcher 3's uh, which is easily the best probably by far uh, Shadow Broker might be up there I guess with it I suppose um, hmm. let me see I mean I know we've been meaning to speak to let's go to Monarch we can visit Phineas later well kind of want to see what he has to say we have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Neither. Huh. Yeah. Negotiate with Sprats for territory. <laughs> Never touch this. Hi, you guys. You have words for me? What's on your mind? Hair? Oh. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Okay, well that just happened. So rather than saying, I have nothing else to say to you while I'm here, Captain, makes me... If you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Go to the trouble of going all the way out to see. Me. Never get close to anyone. They'll just let you down. Yeah, but sometimes you gotta get close to people, you know? How else are you gonna land a sneak attack? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. For a second, I was worried you were gonna say something mushy. Oh, you were being serious? Well, what about us? We never let you down, right? Hey, I don't take it personal. You look out for you, I look out for me. Law of the universe, you know? Besides, that's what's great about a ship like this. When things get weird, you leave. I hope you stick around. The ship wouldn't be the same without you. 
Don't go getting mushy on me now. I hope you guys are saving some of that booze and cannabis for the rest of us. I mean, tobacco, because I would never encourage drug use, nor glorify it in any way. Never, ever, ever. Huh. Eh. I, I'm glad you said dangerous, and it wasn't like me. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. <laughs> that is a very large... everything. don't think Vic the Dick is going to be the best fit. I think I'm going to leave Sam. I think I'm going to take these two more spunky types. Oops. Like I guess I was already set up to do. Let's go get Nyoka if we can, if we have time today. So this is actually, so Stellar Bay is just a town, basically. Okay. So it's not Edgewater, but the next one. Okay, that works. We can do that. Ooh. I mean, I don't need any of it, and there's probably security around somewhere, I'm sure. And again... I don't see them. <laughs> Uh, we won't spend too long. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make that drop. Although, I wonder if... doesn't look like there's any thing on top of buildings. Let me get this piece of crap to go down. Um, ah. Should probably look at the highlighted thing. That usually helps. Hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Wait. Don't go just yet. I've been practicing for this. <laughs> here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest sal tuna in Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. <laughs> Doesn't sound like him, but he kind of looks like other Joe from Angry Joe Show. If anybody watches that. <laughs> well, there's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. <laughs> Did he just say raptodons and cannibals? I can't wait. <laughs> I like your attitude. <laughs> oh, sure. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. 
get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Oh. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. <laughs> Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tosswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? I couldn't really say I'm just a fan of the game. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. Are we still talking about posters or the locals? <laughs> Boss, come on. Black Hole Birdie, the Holemeister, the Hack Attack. He stole that from me. That's Birdie Holcomb, only one of the greatest tossball hackers ever. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You've been living in a sulfur pit or something? <laughs> On account of him being the best hacker who ever played, nothing gets by him. He sucks up every ball that comes his way. Insert joke about X here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, Holcomb's had a lot of nicknames over his career. Used to be the tallywhacker on account of what he do to the score. Before that, he was the slick stick because the shots were always so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about this ever again. <laughs> I swear I'm not. At the start of his career, people called him the hack boss, but no one thought that was very catchy. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. <laughs> what a goober. Alright, so there's new... Those... Worker. Wouldn't mind smelling like Saltuna if we could sell more of it. Hmm. What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. We're here, light years from Earth, going about our lives. Every time the punch clock peels, a worker earns his meals. What are you talking about? Sorry, I thought you were quoting It's a Wonderful Directorate. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, that looks like it's going to be... Hmm. Laws. Can a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? <laughs> right. What I am doing, sir, is enjoying the moment. It's so rare that I can seize one apart from the jabbering masses of this wretched place. That's a lot of big words. I recall when Stellar Bay was a proper board-affiliated town with regular shipments of Auntie Cleo's best and all the cereals. Before Sanjar took over MSI and got us all booted. Yes, free to wallow and squalor together. Free to squabble with the iconoclasts over a raptodon infested hellhole. Look, you're making me melancholy. Is there something you wanted? Well, well. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drink's on me, stranger. Enjoy. If you plan on sitting through Nioka's stories, you might could use a few. <laughs> I could use a few and telling them myself. Now what can I do for you?
Anyone who spends any amount of time in this bar is bound to get to know Nioka. On account of her being here so often herself. And I don't mean that unkindly. Anyone who's rid us of as many beasts as you have is entitled to a few drinks. Something else I can do for you? <laughs> Not since Amber Heights. These days we have more leaving than coming. Off to join the Iconoclasts or some such. Bunch of marauders broke into the executive compound, slaughtered everyone. Corporations pulled out of Monarch not long after. I thought everyone knew, but then that was ten years ago. Still feels fresh to us every time we look at our walls, though. But it had a fancy ring to it. Name's the first advertising anyone sees, after all. Nope. But a man can dream. <laughs> and the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's, it's sliding. All over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the... Tell the blood from the mud. <laughs> but I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap's stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't <laughs> from around here. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Sober. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Doing in Stellar Bay, stranger. It is a shithole. It's a free <laughs> shithole, though. Plenty of ways to blaze your own trail. Folks seem to like that. Besides, the booze is good. Something about that fish oil. Cheers. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass, brass nuts? Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Brass let's, tacks. Let's talk business. Brass monkey. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. <laughs> you want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Uh. Oh, you want information for <laughs> nothing. Very well. I am no match for your nego... Nego... Your Whoa. yammering. Here's how to get to Devil's Peak. Go south. Along the road, not the <laughs> river. Look for the mountain with devil horns. And watch out for rats. And mana swarms. And marauders. And sulfur pits. And... You know it'd really be safer if I went with you. <laughs> you want to reconsider sobering me up? No. <laughs> well, whatever. Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. <laughs> I'm cut off for the month. On account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me <laughs> one and we'll be all set. Uh. Hmm. That's quitter talk. <laughs> you want me shooting straight? <laughs> Give me my meds. Yeah, yeah. Now, 
really. Uh, well, poo. That kind of sucks. I was thinking maybe we could at least get her to just sleep it off at the at the um, ship or something, but apparently not. Other Caleb's doing the talking. New face, huh? You from off world? A ship captain. Well, I'll be here. Let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. All right. Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. What are we We're untethered. Rebelling. Free with. responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. I don't see how. When Sanjar took over MSI, he tossed all the old corporate rules. We ain't required no more to work whatever job the company demands. Our supervisor Velma goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch. We're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. <laughs> Using my fists. I wouldn't doubt it. You look like the type who tends to come out on top. Not like us cogs, trying to be the squeaky wheel but just getting deadlocked. It's been days, but Velma won't even hear us out. Maybe you could just make her listen to our demands. Hmm. You would do that? We sure are lucky you decided to come up to the patio today. I knew drinking up here would be good for more than the view. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? <laughs> Not forever, but we've each saved up our bits, and I stashed them safe in my home by the diner. I reckon we could last a week or two at least. If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. The others wanted to blackmail her, but we're above that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. <laughs> I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know, but, well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. So far, it's just gossip, you know, but if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. Huh. How very, very interesting. Alright. Uh, let me talk to that dingleberry. Let's see. Oh, we need to go to the dispensary. Uh, let's take a look here. So we're still... Fallbrook. You know what? Before we finish up today, I am just dying to know if we can actually exit this town. Or if this is just like a its own. Wrap musk and canidize right here. <laughs> Please, will someone help me? My boy's in trouble. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Then there's no point in going after him. Melting. Yeah. That is not helpful. <laughs> Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Well, Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. I wouldn't go that far. Right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. 
I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Well, I, I, I guess I can't ask you to leave the town walls for free. It is deathly dangerous out there. <laughs> I've got some bits saved up for a rainy day. I'll give you every last one if you just bring my Tucker back to me. I won't even be mad at him running off. You tell him I, I won't be mad. He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. Good God, woman. I should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. He's been listening to those awful broadcasts that the Iconoclasts huh. put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them. But did he? No. And now I just know my boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a Manta Queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already. It's so graphic. <laughs> Those low-life degenerates leading innocent boys into a life of danger. Oh, they make it sound so exciting. Like it's noble to risk it all out there fighting for the greater good. Not sure I'm seeing the problem here. Yeah. You're one of them, aren't you? You should be ashamed of yourself, young man. Just as your mama would be. How noble is it to worry your loved ones? Not at all, I say. But still they preach their sermons of anarchy and rebellion to anyone who listened. If they weren't holed up in Amber Heights, I'd knock them all upside the head. <laughs> that old settlement, southwest of Stellar Bay. I don't know which is worse, the thought of my son shacking up with the nutty iconoclasts. Or that he never made it. Sprats could be nesting in his rotting body alongside the road as we speak. So vivid. <laughs> or, or maybe marauders got him. Pulled all his teeth out, crushed him into their drugs, and made him snort him. Oh, the things that could happen to my sweet baby. Such a vivid imagination. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouths. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. <laughs> That's funny. Those are nice, decent looking guns. Alright. Uh, Stellar Bay Ruins. Just want to stick my head out here and just take a look see real quick huh oh I see all right. Okay, okay. Well, um, looks like we have a fair amount of things to do. Um, I just hit level 15, which means that all of my uh, companions now have perks uh, that I need to give them. And uh, frankly, I still have been meaning to go through and empty out my junk and all that stuff. So I think we're going to call it here for today. I'm going to actually duck right back into town. Man, that is really beautiful, though. Just look at these colors. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to gonna dip back into town. Um, I think next episode will probably be more RP, mostly RP, I would imagine, uh, as we go around and get to know the locals uh, here in Stellar Bay. Um, but thanks again for coming along with me. This has actually been one of my favorite episodes between the robot porn and... <laughs> 
about halfway through and some of the other things that have been going on this was actually a very funny episode to me i hope you also enjoyed it if you did please make sure and do all those youtube things it really helps me out a lot hit like subscribe hit the bell notification so you get all my latest videos i am trying to uh, make sure they come out every day finally getting a few days ahead um so yeah on that note i thank you again for swinging by and i hope you have a beautiful day take care Bye bye